core java interview question and answer in this video tutorial we are going to talk about one of the very important java interview question and this question belongs to java version of it right so let's uh, see what is the question question is here explain a stream api in introduced in java 8 so here we are going to uh, look list of questions related to java stream api first question what is a stream second how is it different than collection next question would be what is parallel stream and then finally we'll discuss can we provide some example of a stream api yeah so let's try to understand once you go through this video then uh, uh, then you'll be able to understand what is basically stream api in what scenario we are going to use a stream api and we'll see some of the famous example how we can create a stream api and all yeah so first of all what is a stream a uh, stream is a sequence of data elements supporting sequential and parallel aggregate operations yeah uh, when you look into the examples like compute the sum of all the elements in a stream of integers mapping all the names in list to their length aggregate operation on streams these are the basically example of uh, a stream api basically these are the scenario uh, in, these are the scenario we have uh, where we can make use of stream api yeah now how is it different than collection collection focus on the storage of data elements for efficient access whereas streams focus on aggregate computations on data elements from data source right so wherever you needed a kind of aggregate operation right on the huge data amount if you if you have a data source uh, if you have a data uh, uh, in size uh, really huge and if you want to perform kind of aggregate operation right then uh, really you need a, a stream api a uh, few important key points about the stream api like stream streams have no storage right now next point streams can uh, represent a sequence of infinite elements you can uh, create a stream uh, there you can have a infinite infinite elements right now the design of streams is based on uh, basically internal iteration uh, streams are designed to be uh, processed in parallel with no additional work from the developers right so this is a very key point so you should keep in mind now streams are designed to support functional programming as you know uh, java, from java 8 onwards uh, we can make use of uh, uh, functional programming right uh, we have a lot of functional interface and we can write a lambda expressions basically right so java 8 supports a uh, functional program now streams support lazy operations uh, when you use stream uh, operation when you use stream api then until uh, unless you do not call the terminal operation right streams are not going to execute it so that's what uh, we call uh, stream support lazy operation streams can be ordered or unordered now streams cannot be reused so once you call the uh, terminal operation on a uh, stream right then then uh, a stream api would be uh, assume as a consumed a stream once you consume the uh, once you consume the stream then that cannot be reused if you try to reuse you will get an exception at run time right now what is parallel stream so java supports two main functionality out of the box uh, partitioning of the stream of data into a smaller streams to make parallel processing possible and parallel processing of the data so uh, that's what we require a parallel stream so uh, as you know in these days we uh, we get the machine with the multi multi core processors and if you want to use multi core processor then a stream is one of the best example we can make use of the parallel stream right so you can divide that uh, basically stream into different chunks and uh, we can uh, process on the different multi-core processor right now uh, can we provide some example of stream api of course we'll see a lot of example uh, of stream api so here uh, just to save some time i have already coded and each of every page piece of code i'm going to explain you first example here says uh, uh, creating a stream from values right so here a stream uh, basically if you look into the stream is uh, an interface and stream interface is a off method and off method if you look in the off method this guy accept uh, basically where arg right 
so here you can either you can pass many string with comma separated or you can pass the string array as well and you'll get the uh, string stream and there after that you can process this stream so here just we are printing this stream of strings uh, that's what using for loop similarly you can uh, create a stream using uh, basically uh, passing a lot of integer with comma separated or here you can pass the integer array as well right and here uh, basically if you want to create a finite integer with a certain range let's say if you want to uh, basically take a range uh, from 1 to uh, 10 basically here uh, uh, last uh, limit is uh, 11 so 11 minus 1 so it uh, last uh, represents n minus 1 so this will print number from uh, starting from 1 to till 10 right so we have a range uh, method inside the int stream so we have a int stream long stream double stream uh, these are the basically uh, uh, basically uh, interfaces added in java 8 and that belongs to the java dot util dot stream uh, package right so let's run this application see what's the output so here you can see output uh, we get the here uh, we initially we have created a stream of a string and we printed and a stream of integer and finally we made use of the range and there we are printing a, a number range for starting from 1 to till 10 yeah now second example second example here is a very pretty straightforward example uh, first uh, uh, method basically uh, prints uh, basically five random numbers first five in the random numbers and that's what we are making use of the random uh, method here we have just apply the limit if you do not uh, call the limit then this will keep printing the numbers right and the second method basically printing the basically five odd numbers first five odd numbers so uh, basically we are calling the iterate method on a stream and uh, here just we are interested to print the uh, odd numbers right and that's what uh, in, 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 in this is just we have written the lambda expression and we are providing the limit as 5 so this will print the first 5 starting from 1 and the next 5 odd numbers this guy is going to print if you want to increase the lim limit then here you can uh, increase the size if you remove this limit then this will keep printing the odd numbers starting from 1 till uh, unlimited so that's what here print odd numbers if you do not provide the limit method over here so this guy will print uh, print uh, this, will, this will start printing uh, odd number from 1 to till infinite right so if i run this application uh, if i run this uh, program then here you can see uh, first of all uh, in first method we printed first five odd numbers yeah and then five random number uh, in this method in this method five uh, basically odd number and then five uh, uh, random numbers we have printed yeah now let's move to the third example so third example here you can see it's pretty straightforward here what we are trying to see uh, how we can create uh, a stream using uh, array so let's say you have an integer array directly you can pass it over here and arrays is having a method a stream which is added in java 8 and there you can pass uh, integer uh, any array you can pass it over here and you'll get the corresponding uh, basically stream so int stream will get int stream you can call for each and you can print all the elements within this uh, basically uh, stream right now next method saying that getting a, a square all the numbers in the array using a stream so here uh, in int stream we are just taking taking the range closed and we are starting number from one to five and just we are making a square of each and every number and finally we are printing so this will print 1 4 uh, 9 16 25 something like that right a square of every number now let's say you have a collection any kind of collection here i have taken an example of set right and say, which is containing two elements basically but uh, uh, if your collection uh, uh, containing a lot of huge um, huge data then going forward with the stream would be uh, beneficial so let's say here i just i have added uh, two elements in this uh, set but in real scenario you can have a lot of uh, this set size would be uh, very very big and here from set we directly you can call a stream and you'll get the stream of a string right and finally i have basically uh, printed each and every elements uh, from this stream so here the way i have created i have called the stream means this will create the sequential stream so here there is no use of the multi-core processor but 
if you want your stream to be executed in a multi-core processor then you have another method is called parallel stream so from same set you can get the parallel stream and there further you can process right here just i am printing the elements now let's say if you want to uh, read uh, data from the file then of course from java 8 onwards we have a files uh, we have a method is called uh, lines in inside the files uh, class and there you can specify the path so here just i have created test.txt which have very less number of uh, data but in real scenario you can have a huge file right so directly this will read line by line uh, from the basically this uh, uh, file test.txt and this will store into the lines and here just i am printing e content of the file using for each yeah if i run this application then you'll see the output on the console so here you can see so here initially we have created in uh, integer stream from uh, basically array and that we have printed second part what we have we have called uh, close range and we are taking the range starting from 1 to till 5 so close range basically if, if when you call then that will start so first and second range would be inclusive so that's what sorry from 1 till 5 and we are getting a square of each and every number yeah now next uh, from set we have created uh, basically a uh, uh, sequential and parallel stream and we have printed the elements within the set and finally we get data from the file right using our files class right we have a lines in inside the files this is a static method, method so directly you can call by the class name and we read data from this file and we have printed each and every lines from the file yeah now next fourth example here you can see what we have written so here uh, basically we would like to see operation or stream that is called bulk operation or map and reduce right so here what we are uh, seeing here we just we've called uh, basically off method we are passing some integer right with comma separated now here each and every element we are taking from this stream right each and every uh, element we are taking from the so we are calling the peak method so this will start from the one two uh, three four five something like each and every number then what we are doing over here so here you can see the, you can perform the chain of operation using stream api that's the benefit now we are calling the filter method and each and every number just the, do I, we are doing the modulus of two if that comes one that means that is a, an odd number if that is the case then next peak method will be called and this will print filtered integer and that number will be printed if number is uh, even then next line will not be executed right if uh, this will be printed number is even then so uh, sorry number is odd then this will be printed and next uh, line of code will be executed so a square of odd number will be calculated and that will print it as mapped integer and a square of that number right and if that is the case if number is a square then of course sum of a square of each and every number out of this will be calculated and finally that is getting printed so if i run this application then here you can see the output so here you can see how uh, we can make use of the stream api uh, here we can make uh, we are calling the uh, chain of operation so here you can see uh, saying that taking one so number is taking from here and uh, filtered one because uh, modulus of one is one so that is considered as a odd number right now mapped one is getting uh, printed right mapped one is getting printed now two basically two is an odd uh, even number so uh, so this will get itself false so next of the things will not be executed for three you can see uh, integer is uh, taking three and then a filtered three means uh, this line of code is also executed when nine would be printed here you can see so for all the odd numbers the rest of the statement after this will be executed right so here you can see uh, if you look into the sum of the numbers it means one square plus three square means uh, 10 right then five square means 35 and then uh, basically seven k square right so 35 plus 49 so total 84 will be printed right so here you can see 84 right this is a sum of a square of all odd numbers within this range within this uh, element right so now last but not the least right we have a example fifth, fifth so let's see what is that so example five here you can see uh, first of all we have a model class is called employee right here 
we have a few uh, instance variable we have a constructor we have a setter getter setter method not getter but i have created one getter method for salary because i needed to call this one and finally we overridden to testing method now let's come back to the this example so here i have created a uh, six object of uh, employee class so just to make you clear i have created a finite number of basically uh, object of uh, employee but in real scenario you can have a huge number of object right and that's what we have a stream api now in this uh, collection i have added all six uh, object and now here you can see how stream api basically help us to calculate different things like uh, get all the males having income greater than 10000 so that's the way we can uh, calculate so uh, in collection we can call a stream and filter we can apply right and uh, we want to calculate the all the male employee who is having salary greater than 10 so first of all we are checking if, the, if that is the case male is employee so here if you look in the constructor constructor is having a id name female uh, it's a boolean value if we pass true means uh, employee is considered as female is male if this is the true then employee is male right and this is the uh, salary basically so if uh, these are the two boolean value either of one is uh, basically true a any of the one is uh, true at a time right but not the both so here we can see so here how easily we can calculate the all we can find the all the male employee uh, having salary greater than 10,000 that's the so here basically we are calling the filter and once we filter based on this criteria then basically we are just printing the employee name whose salary is greater than and that is a male right finally we are printing so this is a chain of operation we can uh, perform all together now get combined income of all employees let's say if you want to calculate uh, sum of salary of all the employees then that's the way to calculate so first of all uh, from emp list this is a collection we can create the stream then uh, we are getting the salary of each and every employee right so here we, we are making use of java 8 i hope you are aware about the java 8 and finally we can we are calling the reduced method here in the reduced method if you see the reduced method that identity initial value we are passing the zero and double we are calling the sum so we, this will uh, get the sum of all employees and finally we are printing next method what we are doing uh, sorry next uh, operation what we are doing uh, here we are uh, increasing the income of all female by 10 percent so here you can see on a stream we are calling the organ filter method just we are trying to see whether employee is female or not so if female is the key if employee is the female then we are calling for each method on this right and salary we are just incrementing by 10 percent and finally we are uh, printing or uh, basically value of that employee right so if i run this application all these operation will be performed successfully and here is the output guys right so guys uh, i have created a lot of source code uh, as far as source source code concern i have posted all the source code and all the understanding what i have explained in the slide in my blog kkjavatutorials.com so if you go to the kkjavatutorials.com then here i have posted uh, 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 all those stuff in this blog yeah so so here you can see recently i have posted this blog and if you uh, click on read more then uh, here you can go ahead and read all the concept and whatever example i have shown in the eclipse all those stuff i have posted over here so please go through this and uh, uh, if you uh, really like this video then uh, don't uh, forget to click on the uh, like button and here you can provide the, your comments uh, right so i will reply your comment so guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial